Hi, welcome to another video where we're looking at playing fills using groups of five. We're going to start with a pretty well used sticking for, for playing groups of five. It's going to be right, left, right, left, left. And we'll just place the right notes, which are accented, uh, on the toms and the, the left hand notes will stay on the snare. So the next thing we're going to do with that sticking is give it some context by placing it in a subdivision. So first up we'll try 16th notes. And we're going to do this in 5-4. And it's quite easy to visualise if you've got a few toms in front of you. I'm going to use, uh, because I'm going to play four groups of five and that will fit in a bar of 5-4. And you'll hear how those accents move relative to the quarter note as well. So by the time I've played this on the four toms, that's our five beats. So after five. So, as we don't get to play in 5-4 that often, let's drop that into a, a more familiar context with a bar of 4-4. Four, four. So, a quick bit of maths, if we're going to play groups of 5 through 16th notes in 4-4, four, four, we're going to play three lots of 5, and there'll be one note le left over. In other words, 5, 10, 15, and the last uh, note is left over. So, just thinking of that on our, our toms, let's go across the rack toms. So, we'll play 5, 5, five, and then the last note I'll put on the bass drum. useful bit of independence with that would be to put those accents on the cymbal with the bass drum while stepping the quarter note. And so let's push the syncopation a little further and play it over two bars. So now again a bit of maths so let's see we've got a uh, um, 32 notes, so that's going to be six groups of five and two notes left over. So let's change our context now and try this figure through eighth note triplets. We'll go back to that initial exercise that was in 5-4. Only now because it's triplets, we'll only do that across the three toms before it resolves in the 5-4. So after five, So if we play that through one bar of eighth note triplets, we've got 12 notes, so we'd get two groups of five, let's put it on these two toms, and two notes left over. And now over two bars, so again, a bit of maths, we've got 24 notes, two bars of eighth note triplets, so we can do, to get to the 20, we'll play four groups of five, and we'll have four notes left over. So four groups of five, I play a group per tom, four notes left over on the snare.
with a small tweak to that basic sticking, uh, it has a quite a major impact on the sound of the figure. What I'm talking about is instead of just playing two accents, if we play three, but still always coming back to the snare for the two, the double left at the end, we get this strong group of three sound, which uh, has quite a, an effective illusory sort of uh, um, impact on, on when it's used within the groove because the ear really recognizes the, the sound of a group of three, but it doesn't quite fit because it's, it's groups of five. So let's just illustrate that with our basic five, four figure that we did at the, at the beginning. So 16th notes across four drums, over one bar of 16th notes. Two bars of 16th notes. Eighth note triplets, so one bar. And two bars. And we've got one further tweak to the basic figure. In this case, we're going to replace the two quiet lefts that we played on the snare with, a, with two notes on the bass drum. So now our group of five is right, left, right, kick, kick. So to get to grips with the coordination, we could just start with that basic 5-4 figure again. So once again, through 16th notes, we'll get the four toms. Let's try that over one bar of 16th notes. Here I'm going to play the final 16th note on the snare because otherwise it would require me playing three consecutive notes on the kick to finish the figure. Two bars.
And to complete things, let's try the same figure through eighth note triplets. So once again, the five, four figure. And over one bar. And two bars. <laughs> 